Okay, so this painting here is by far my biggest painting I have done yet. And look, I also painted all the sides and I've never done that before on one of my paintings. So I hope you enjoy me painting this. Roll the intro, go. You must be joking me. Okay, this is Michael from the future. And guess what? I'm so sorry to have to announce that all the footage from the first half, actually over half of this painting that was filmed has been corrupt. That's over 32 gigs that was filmed. Everything is lost. I've tried so much different things to get that footage back. That is why this video has taken so long to be uploaded. So again, I'm very sorry about this. I really do hope you still enjoy seeing the other half of this video and this painting. So just imagine you got to see the first half. It was absolutely incredible. But hey, you do get to see the end process of it all. So please, Subscribe so that you can maybe see the other half of this video if I happen to find a way to get it. Now let's just start the video where I still have the footage. Okay, and go. So I've been putting this part off for quite some time. Now I'm super concerned with doing the tattoo area. The reason being is because I am unsure if I'm just going to paint right over the line work that I have already done or if I will be going in between all the lines and carefully doing it that way. I feel like that if I just go over it all and then redo the line work in black where the tattoo is then it would be a lot easier so kind of what i've done with all this area i still have to do the line work on the hand as well as the ring area and all that but i think i'm going to finish off the peach area here first so that's going to be a little challenging but fun too this painting has been taking a lot longer than usual just because i have not been working on it a whole lot lately so <laughs> let's get this started. So I got super scared and I <laughs> didn't actually paint over the tattoo part here. I have changed my mind and I decided that I'm just gonna go in with 
this really small brush here and try my best to fill in all the white area. I also thought to myself if I wanted to add color or not. But I'll start off with peach. If I want to add some color like blue or anything, I can do that afterwards. So wish me luck because <laughs> I'm nervous about this. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry here and then I will do the line work after. I'm going to move on to doing the jewelry. Uh, I'm just going to try and figure out what colors and tones I'm going to do. Now I did do some thumbnail sketches. I have a little concept idea of what I want to do for the jewelry there and I felt like that it was a good way to practice to try and get a good idea of what exactly I feel like would suit this character the most. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life us crazy but things are finally right with you and I the future is bright oh, you and I we got it oh, we don't need no more oh, even in the hard times you and I can weather it I don't know if uh, any of you get this as an artist. I'm just bored. I'm bored of this painting. Maybe it's just because I've been going back and forth, back and forth between it and not actually working on it consistently and really diving deep into it and sucked into it. It is coming to the end and I'm looking forward to seeing how it's all going to come together but I want you all to know out there if you are an artist that gets this feeling sometimes and just gets bored of the artwork or whatever you're working on to kind of just push through it if you can and if you really have to put your painting to the side and continue it when you really feel like it. You put it somewhere where you can see it. Put it somewhere where you can see it, okay? And when you walk into the room or wherever it is, you will see it. I personally have had paintings sitting around for like months that I don't get back to. And I don't know, you know, if that's like artist block or kind of artist block, whatnot. I would like to do an updated video on on struggling with artist blocks. So if you're wanting to see that, please let me know down in the comments below. So let's just carry on with this painting and fight through this boredom that I'm feeling here. And I just want to get it done. So let's carry on with it, okay? Okay everyone, we're on the last bit here. I'm just going to be doing her lips and then I will be doing all the outline. The outlining I won't be filming, but for the lips here, I think it's going to be tying everything together. So I am going to be doing some deep red. 
which I feel like is gonna look really, really nice against the lighter skin here. So, wish me luck and <laughs> let's hope that this turns out. And so far, I'm very happy with how this is turning out. So, let's continue on with it. Go. Con quién voy a compartir todas mis noches humedas. Ahora que me va a dar los pesos como tú los das. Todo es una ilusión y es tu amo a Nico, pero nunca Nicolás. Tú eras la oveja mala del rebaño. Tu vicio de la fama si me hizo daño. Tantas promesas fueron por el caño, porque lo único que cumplí es un año. Y casi te vas y luego me quieres ver. Eso nunca pasará. Prefiero otra mujer. Chica, si te vas y juegas otro papel que nunca te quedará, como eso de serme fiel. El día que me falte tu piel, ¿qué será? ¿Qué será? ¿Qué será? Ok, well, that sure took a while to do. I'm really happy with how the lips turned out. They look pretty dang good. I tried about three different colors. It was a dark red, as you seen first, and then I had to add the pink, and then it was too pink. I like this kind of mauvey color. It looks really good, but what looks even better is this. Look it. Oh, baby kitty. Say hi, Stevie. Oh, he's saying hi to you, everyone. So now it's just the final part, which is going to be doing the line work. Obviously, I'm not gonna film that because it's the same thing as before. So let's just jump to it in the future. One, two, three, go, bam! Okay, look at this, wow. I'm very happy with this. It took quite some time and patience to fully make this look as good as I feel like it does with doing all the line work. So I hope that you're impressed with it as much as I am. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for staying to the end. I really appreciate it. And please comment down below on what you like best about this piece here and maybe some ideas that you would have changed. Feel free and follow all my social media right here. I did a lot of updates on TikTok as well as my Snapchat, and I'll be posting the final piece on my Instagram. So please follow all this stuff to keep updated on any other pieces that I may be working on in the future. And I'm super happy with my channel so far. It is growing really nicely. And thank you so much for all your support. And for anyone that has not already, please subscribe and give this video a like here because that would really help out the channel and share it if you like. And hey, if you're gonna miss me, check out these videos right here and click there. Okay, till next time, remember, stay ambitious. All right, see you later.